Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I had planned for you a special video last week. Unfortunately, I have to cut it short. The sad news is I don't have any footage of beating the level pack because I haven't yet. So in this video, we're only going to go over the easy levels. And the easiest one, not for me, as you can see, is level 12, the last level, by a lad. <laughs> I gave it away. By level lad. Shows promise for a young, uh, novice level maker. New to the community of Keen. Next level we're going to be doing is, uh, level 5. Also by our young protege, Quillax. You may know him as Quinton. Maker of the redoubtable Mordecor Vorticon trilogy. That was good fun. Quillax is known for his classic feels to the levels, as if he was on the original Commander Keen level building team itself. There's a statue down here that's holding up that torch, flaming hand, and the exit, which is a teleporter in this level pack, is on its head. You can see his other arm now, that's pointed downwards. A crown on his head. Might remind me of the mangling machine. And there's a bow up here, with a scrub tra trapped in the middle of it. That's a cool level because you can take the low route that is easy, you can take the high route that I did, and have a bit of a challenge with the scrubs very well used, um, utilized. The next level is level three that I'm gonna do, and it's level lord, pretty straightforward level. Watch out for a few tricky jumps. The trickiest one is one I failed at here because there's a two tile gap there that King can fit through to get an easy finish to the exit, but I ended up falling down this way. So why do all the levels look the same? Because it's a level minimalist pack. You know, the same one that the community released um, last time uh, for King 1. This time we've added the scrubs. This is King 2. So it, it adds a little bit more cool diversity to the gameplay and how the levels are designed and voila we have 12 levels of top-notch stuff really really good levels some of them whew, are entirely evil next we'll be doing rhubar's level you may formerly know him as weaven in this level it's uh It's a pretty large level. I think there seems to be alternative routes. I'll take the upper route. Um, I imagine it all leads to the same place because as the rules state, you can only have one exit, not multiple exits, which mm, could have been cool, but that might mess with the patch. That makes teleporters the exit to the level instead of the normal door tiles that, that you exit out of in these games. Um, the sprites are just time wasters in this one. They kind of get in your way a little bit. You don't have to worry about waiting for a sprite or jumping on one. This is more of a simplistic jump here to there and avoid the hazards kind of level. Which is nice because all the other levels with the exception of level lad the, the, the other people's levels rely heavily on the function of the scrub and how he wall crawls up and down levels to carry keen to places that he wouldn't normally be able to reach the next level we ought to be doing is level 11 and this one is by pro europe 
Again, we have the checkerboard kind of pattern in much of this level, which I don't know why, but I like it a lot. You could fall down that way, or you could go on the outside. It pretty much leads you to the same place, which is through here. And here's where the checkerboard begins. And we have these very large blocks of hazard tiles to jump over. You gotta be careful about where you land on this area, otherwise the scrubs will push you into the dangerous tiles. So it can be slightly challenging there. But I really like this level. Because of the horizontal scrubs that carry you along these hazard tiles. Something that I try to do in my level. But, but I wasn't smart enough to <laughs> design it that way. Um, I would place the dangerous tiles one tile above the floor. Which doesn't work at all. Because Keen will just die every time. So you can't ride a scrub along those tiles. But this way, if you place in a pattern, dangerous and then the floor and then dangerous and the floor, the scrub won't fall through a one tile gap if it's horizontal. So that's pretty neat. So again, that one was by Pro Yorp. And now we ought to be doing level two by Shikadi. I think so. Should we? Yeah, we should. This one I find is a bit incomplete somehow. It's got a really nice owl theme going around along and that's cool because it makes the level unique in its appearance um, and again in this one we don't get much scrub action it seems that the most scrub centered levels are the most difficult ones Th there here's a difficult jump right here but as soon as you get high enough you re you release the pogo in midair and you can get through but uh, it seems to be a little bit underdeveloped it's nevertheless an important uh, level because, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, but it's one of the first levels, it's the first or second one that was contributed uh, to the level pack. And it's nice that, that Shikadi didn't wait till the last second, like I did, to contribute to the level because you can see his post. You can see level asses getting levels uh, going and it, it kind of lights a fire underneath you and it, especially if you want to spend more than one day making your level so that's a good level two uh, I tried level one I think I may have beaten it but I didn't have any footage of that um, there's a, still quite a number of levels I haven't beat uh, even off camera this level is my own So you have to wait uh, for scrubs in this level. Uh, but if you are fast enough, you can catch sprites at the same at, at the perfect time to where as you can kind of speed run it or you can just take your time, be patient and whatnot. Um, I try to trick the player into taking jumps that he shouldn't normally take. I know Rubar actually beat this level by going through the back door and for, and didn't play this part of the level. And then I saw another video where somebody also beat it by playing the first part of the level differently. So that way there is the way I intended it to be played. And it's interesting that there were some results that I didn't foresee. This level is um, level 10, and it's by Commander Spleen. I think it's the most clever level so I voted for it on the poll have I beaten it yet no but I get awful close As you can see he uses the scrubs uh, in a then when they're kind of just off screen so you have to unlock them so as they fall into place to help you advance to the next area 
and then he also utilizes a trick where uh, if you ride in on a sprite that carries you upwards uh, you'll hit your head on the ceiling but just as you make contact with the ceiling you activate the pogo stick and that'll make you one pixel taller which will clip your the top of your sprite into the block which will make you pass right through it and then of course we also have the ambush of many many scrubs that fall on top of your head which you can easily lead to death that way um, so this part is just to get up high enough and to fall to unlock sprites that will get you an alternative route see how they fall in all into place in this area you couldn't get to before but now you can and it's all through the magic power of I don't know but it's magical so again this is another part where you have to clip through the ceiling and I think I fail at this quite a number of times because I was very much uh, 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 nervous because I've never got this far before And I like to try this one instead of the other one to clip through because the prison to the just just to on the other side of this column of blocks here it's closer to that long column of hazardous tiles I don't want to accidentally fall inside okay I think I get it on this next time no actually we still got a long way to go too bad it's too bad I know oh, I actually get on the other side of the floor so usually I'm doing it too soon or there I may have done it too late um, but I've actually mastered it pretty well now what I tried to do there is catch it on the rebound so you, you take two uh, a bounce before you get through it but it's the same principle you get high enough to unlock a sprite which then drops down so that you can um, get to a place that you had previously passed by so it's kind of like backtracking in a way um, and uh, I saw the sprite falling so I decided to follow it all the way down, expecting that I was supposed to like land on its head. But then I went, went straight into the dangerous tiles, and if I was paying more attention, I would have um, realized that those dangerous tiles were right there, and I was supposed to land safely to, to the left a little bit, find out where that sprite ended up, and then follow him to the exit to the level. So it's the cleverest, clever, cleverest level that maybe I've ever played in Keen Vorticons. That's all for today.